What is up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today we're going to be doing a review of Red Dragon's K567 keyboard. It is mechanical and RGB so if you guys are interested in this keyboard make sure you guys stick around. But first here's last week's first comment as you guys can see it was very creative. Just keep in mind that the first comment of this video will get a shout out in next week's video. So anyways let's get into the review. <laughs> Today I will be reviewing Red Dragon's K567 RGB Mechanical Keyboard. This is easily one of the best RGB mechanical keyboards out there, yet it seems to not ever be mentioned in the tech community. This keyboard is only $60, but they manage to give you a lot of functionality for a low price point. It has RGB functionality with nearly 20 different lighting modes. One thing to note that on this keyboard, all of the RGB options are configured through the keyboard instead of through software. Later on in this video, I'll go over this more in detail. This keyboard has cherry blue equivalent switches and don't let that scare you off because they are nearly identical to the real switches. Take my word for this, the switches on this keyboard are amazing. The switches feel sturdy and they have held up great and you're even able to replace the entire switch if one goes out. The keycaps have a gaming style font applied to them and they let the RGB lighting through just fine. Another thing I love about this keyboard is the build quality. It is heavy and does not move around on your desk while you're using it. One thing I noticed about this keyboard though was that my palm rest was a tad short. My palms barely rest on it while typing, but this is not a big deal to me and is still very comfortable to type on. And if you wanted to, you could actually just completely take off the palm rest. Something that is nice about this specific Red Dragon keyboard is that they went with a more simple design with no flashy logos. They usually have a big red gaudy logo, but for this keyboard they used one that looked much cleaner. The USB cable on this keyboard is just a standard cable. Unfortunately, it is not threaded, but keep in mind that this is a budget keyboard. So back to the RGB features of this keyboard. If you ever want to change the settings, you have to use the function keys. To choose the color you would like, just simply press the function key while pressing the spacebar. This gives you all of your color choices. Press the button that has your color you want and you're set. Next, if you want to change the lighting modes, you can press the function key while pressing any of these six keys. Each of these keys have three different modes that you can cycle through. They organize it so similar modes are linked to the same switch. So as an example, I'm going to press the function key and delete at the same time to get this wave effect. If I press the delete key again while holding the function key, it'll change to a different wave effect. And here are just a bunch of different lighting modes along with how to access them. You can change the speed of these settings on your keyboard by pressing the function key with either the plus or minus key. If you want to change the brightness, just press the function key with either the up or down arrow. There are even RGB lights on the side of this keyboard that can be customized by pressing the function key while pressing the print screen key. So this keyboard has a lot of customization. I will admit though that having to do all of this through the function keys can be a little annoying but for the price, it is definitely worth it. Overall, this keyboard is amazing with just a few minor improvements. I think this keyboard could be near perfect. Well, hopefully that video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about this keyboard or how it works, make sure you drop a comment down below and I'm gonna try to respond to every question you guys have. If you guys are interested in looking at this keyboard or purchasing it, make sure you guys go down to the description below and I'll have a link for it there. Anyways, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next review. Reality. Touching the truth.